lost uh, a little bit. It's oh, fine though. It's it's fine. All my cool one miners. I don't know. It was when I got it was when I got the fucking mosquito. So I think um, it's fine still. I'm gonna okay. say I'm gonna say that I can I kind of have an idea that Polchara is not like going for blood on this one. So I'll basically do what he's doing, which is willing on him hard enough hard enough to uh, either knock him on like knock him unconscious or make him submit either one your, your insights high enough you know, your passive insights high enough to understand what Fulchara is trying so there's that and then 10 d8 <laughs> okay um so 40, <laughs> 49 <laughs> damage on top that's 13 overkill so So basically, I uh, I plunge in with my rapier and hit him, hit the giant in just the right spot to make it go unconscious. Yep, and uh, you both get your how much health back? Oh, thank God! <laughs> I'm still hurting, but not as bad. Oh, you still got your temp health at least. And next turn you can action surge, or not action surge, but um, second I wind. Second wind, yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, this uh, the cloud giant pulls out a morning star and it's gonna attempt to flatten you. Ain't about right. Now with the sixteen and a fifteen. Yay. Wow, a four and a three. Jeez. Badger! Uh, seeing that this Cloud Giant's unconscious, he's probably gonna come over here and heal me for second, second level spell slot. That's a Fire Giant right next to you. Yep. Yeah, if it was a, uh, a Cloud Giant, I probably would have knocked it out long ago. <laughs> Uh, sucks that fire is my main thing, but it works. Mm. Uh, okay, eight so points. that's eight points, yep. A little less than the others, but... Well, it was the second that's... level as well. It's still a little less than the others. It's mostly because it's a, it's a rolled two twos on the D8s. Okay, yeah, that's what Leon! <laughs> Try and convince it some more <laughs> to just stand down. Uh, how do you intend to do that? Well, if we were assassins, pretty much we'd probably be just straight just killing you, you guys more often than anything. We're not assassins. It does not seem affazed by your um... reasoning. Mm hmm. That hits. I'm gonna review that one. Okay. Two moss. And 26 on the save. It also hits. We had to can't roll, re roll the other ones, I don't think. At least there's a two in there. Yeah, you can do that if you wish. Great at 14 damage now. And. You know what? 
Be happy. You got that out of the way. That was a double net 20. On that save. Read. Man. Does he look injured? Like, heavily? He's taking a couple hits, but, uh... So, I'm gonna fireball him. Okay. I'm gonna avoid the the people around him. Alrighty, go for it. Okay, at least it wasn't a lot. Another natural 20. Are you fucking serious? Happy Ooh. these are getting out of the way. Yeah, that is that is fair. I would like these not trains. I'm trying to convince him. <laughs> You're not uh, hitting the right uh, hitting the right chords, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know much about cloud giants either. Yeah, you guys never really encountered any except one, and he was a bit eccentric. But you only encountered one, so. But the. The uh, the stone giant and the frost giant are kind of looking at themselves like, huh, didn't do anything to me. I guess that's why he uh, just did that in front of us. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'll just scream the giant, uh, please stop. <laughs> uh, and, and then that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk up uh, to this one here. Here, like I'm pretty bloody after defeating the fire giant. After that point, I'm just gonna I say, <sighs> Zephros was the one who sent us to investigate the Storm King's disappearance. Does that get any kind of reaction out of him? <laughs> no. Power it is. <laughs> okay, non-lethal. <laughs> I like I like how you remembered the name. Uh, a ten will not hit. Uh, yeah. I accidentally rolled with advantage. That's fine. Oh, that was that was in that one. So. Yep. You got you got two more. Yep. That'll definitely hit. Okay. Non-lethal, all of them. Yep. I doubt that will do it very much. You got and... 16. And that'll hit. And uh, I'm going to give myself uh, a cure wounds here. Or a, uh, a healing word. I'm about to say, you can't do a cure wounds. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a full <laughs> badger there. Uh, there we go. Nice. Ezra. Uh, I run, I uh, is, do I have enough, do I have enough movement? Yeah, I make my way up. Zoop. And I help put him down. Uh, uh, but I kind of like, are we, are we knocking him out too? <laughs> I tried peace with this one already. You also tried peace with the other one, and we still knocked him out. Yep, plan A. Or plan B, it is. <laughs> plan A is diplomacy. Plan B is beat him unconscious. <laughs> I assume. Yep, violence is all that some of them respond to. <laughs> A 21 will hit. To, I did not mean that, to have that's, that advantage that's fine. on there. 21 will hit. And that will also hit. Dad. 
That's all that I got. Hmm. So let me tell you something real quick. On the strength save against Leon, it was a double nat 20. On the next save, it was a natural 20. He just rolled another natural 20. Go ahead. However, and however, it was not an attack. away his weapon. Wasn't that some fun? Now, what's the plan now? The storm drones kind of look at everyone. Let's kind of nod. All right, we will lead you for real to Princess Ceresia. I think she would be interested to hear what you have to say. The stone giant nods, and the 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 frost giant seems to be having a pretty good time. Fight some strong guys, even if they're small folk. So these two, are they still? Come, and they start leading you up the stairs. Well, good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Jar just hobbles on along. <laughs> Let me go ahead and bring them up. Heroism's probably ended, Ezra. Get, get, can I cast a Cure Wounds on myself as I go up the stairs? Yeah. Thank you. Second level. I'm also just going to use the Raw of the Pack Keeper get back a spell slot. That's all right, too. Don't know how long we're, it's going to take to go up the stairs. That's fine. It doesn't take that long, but... Uh... Yeah, it is. As long as I have 12 seconds to spare. Uh, you go back up to this room uh, where these um, giant conch shells kind of are. And the uh, the uh, the hulking, the gigantic crab up, in the, up there is still it's kind of hanging out. And moving its uh, mandibles a little bit. Uh, they lead you to a corridor uh, 40 feet wide, and there appear to be a, a big, a large set of double doors at the end of the hallway with two uh, hill giants uh, seemingly guarding it. And as you approach, open the doors, 
these ones have earned the right to speak with Sarissa. He says, uh, the claw in front of you, in front says in giant, they part ways. Head and review over real quick. As you enter the throne room, uh, it, it resembles an amphitheater with stone bleachers overlook an oblong chamber with a 50-foot deep pool of seawater near its center. In the middle of the bleachers is an archway with two doors which you just passed through. Facing the pool at the, in the doors are three enormous thrones. The middle one is carved from a solid chunk of obsidian and has four it appear to be dragon skulls affixed to its base, and it floats one foot above the floor. And then it has two smaller floats that flank it that are made of coral and giant seashells. Sitting upon the, the throne is a, uh, a, a younger, what appears to be a younger storm giant, and then there is a, a one each to her left and right. You are led inside. These two kind of flank you guys as you approach, I assume. Uh, the one in the big throne stands up and uh, kind of comes forward a little bit. I am Sarissa. Who might you be, travelers? And that is where we will end the session for tonight. Jesus. Ooh. That turned out much better than I thought it would. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Where are your I'm fucking listening. teeth? I rolled so many natural 20s for that fucking cloud giant, I can't believe it. I know, right? I, 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 at least... They were not on attacks. Maybe he's your Jeff the Cultus. <laughs> God. I, I think what's the most I think what's the most funniest that like everyone else got hit like hard except me with the ring of regeneration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They tried to hit you. They didn't they didn't succeed. Um the one time you didn't fucking take damage in a battle. Your armor actually well Kind of helped. I also just yeah. realized I, I probably tripped while we were walking up. <laughs> up because from exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah, haste. That only, that only lasts like one round where you're stunned and can't really move. It was like six seconds. Yep. But uh, thank you all for much for joining in the hiccup that we had because I somehow accidentally hit a button. I guess I still have one of my keyboard buttons set to um, turn the stream on and off, and I accidentally hit that in the middle of it when I smacked a mosquito. So we lost a uh, couple minutes, unfortunately, but oh well. Join us again next week. Hopefully we have a full house. As the truth seekers seek truths and tell truths to Princess Sar Sarissa. And hopefully they believe us. And Let's see believe. how true those truths are. 
Indeed. That was the most brutal job interview I've ever done. Uh, about the second for me. What was the most? Post office. Oh. I thought we were talking in game. Oh. Uh. Possibly the blacksmith job then. Yes, thank you for joining us and st st for still being here, if you're still here. We appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Have a good night, everyone. Bye, darlings. Later, everybody. Good night, everyone. Goodbye.